From craftsmanship to high tech, from workshop to world market leader. Step inside. Join me in a journey into the future and discover the history of a hidden champion. A very warm welcome to you. It all begins in 1896. Paul Dürer sets up a craftsman's workshop in Stuttgart, which carries out metalwork on roofs and facades. The company does such a great job that its founder is appointed Master Tinsmith to the court of Württemberg. This is great publicity at the time. The business develops well until the outbreak of the First World War brings Durr's growth to an abrupt end. In 1923, Paul's son Otto joins the company. He focuses on the manufacturing of sheet metal products, which are much more cost efficient than the often used cast iron. Otto goes on to shape the direction of his father's company, although there are many ups and downs in the beginning. The upswing of the Golden Twenties is followed by a global economic crisis. Always by Otto's side is his wife, Betty, who not only enjoys great popularity in the company, but is also regarded as its commercial conscience. In 1933, the dark years of National Socialism began. Dürer and its 80 or so employees are involved in the state's arms industry. During the Second World War, forced laborers are used in production. In post-war Germany, Otto Dürer is in search of a new field of business and ventures into plant engineering. His entrepreneurial courage pays off. The company becomes a sought-after paint specialist during the post-war economic expansion. In 1957, Heinz Dürr becomes the third generation to join the family business. A few years later, he takes on a management role in the company alongside his father and increasingly becomes a driving force in the business. Heinz Dürer makes a conscious decision to align the company's development closely to the booming automotive industry. He takes the plunge and follows car makers abroad at an early stage. In 1964, an order for an entire paint shop for VW do Brasil leads to the foundation of the first foreign subsidiary in Brazil. In the following years, many more locations are established in other countries. Collaborations and acquisitions add to the painting technology portfolio. The family business becomes an international systems provider. Heinz Dürer knows that his success is largely due to his capable and reliable team. That's why corporate culture is extremely important to him and his wife Heide. With a down-to-earth approach typical of Swabia, they maintain a familiar atmosphere even as the company continues to grow. Dedicated employees who identify with the Dürer Company remain part of the winning formula in the anniversary year of 2021. Heinz Dürer remains at the helm of the family business for 20 years. Until 1980, when he entrusts the management to a non-family member and dedicates himself to new tasks. Nevertheless, he retains close ties with his Dürer company. The initial public offering in 1989 is an important strategic move. It provides the necessary financial means for the acquisition of the Bayer Group. 
Taking over this application technology specialist marks Dürer's entry into the world of painting robots. Dürer greatly expands its core competence, which is the delivery of turnkey paint shops. The mid-sized multinational becomes a world market leader in this field. Additional acquisitions follow, including that of measuring technology group Carl Schenk in 2000. Dürer thus grows quickly and moves into new fields of business such as final assembly and balancing technology. However, these acquisitions result in a high level of debt. Shortly after the turn of the century, Dürer experiences financial difficulties. That's why in 2005, comprehensive restructuring measures begin under the leadership of Ralph Dieter, a turning point for the troubled group. Dürer becomes more flexible, modern, and efficient. With renewed confidence, the company improves its position in China, a market of the future. Just recently got another big order from China for a big turnkey paint job. This is an important step which pays off. In Asia, automotive sales are booming and so is the demand for production systems, which is how Dürer quickly recovers from the global financial crisis. Dürer now has one record year after another. These Lackier Roboter zählen weltweit zu den erfolgreichsten ihrer Art. For Dürer, 2011 is a record year. Wir hatten ein sehr gutes Jahr 2012 und haben das Jahr. It enjoys growing market shares, proud employees, and rising stock exchange prices. It is during this time that the company expands its portfolio through several acquisitions. The largest acquisition takes place in 2014. Dürer takes over the Homag Group, the world's number one woodworking machinery company, and thus enters a new area of business outside the automotive industry. Now with its three subgroups, Dürer Systems, Schenk, and Homag, the company lies at the cutting edge of technology and is well positioned for future challenges. Its role as a market leader is enhanced further in the following years. The focus is on the major topics of the future. The group builds digital smart factories and expands in the field of automation technology. The trend towards sustainability is an opportunity. Electric cars and batteries are produced with Dürer and Schenk technology. Climate-friendly wood houses are built using Homag systems. And in environmental technology, Dürer ensures that exhaust air is clean. 17,000 employees support the company and work on new products. After all, technical innovations have a 125-year tradition at Dürer.